okay in this video what we are going to do is we are going to download teams from teams.microsoft.com and once you open this url uh, just navigate to downloads and once you navigate to downloads so we'll download teams for work or school we'll download teams from here and we'll in start installing the teams application so we'll log in with the user accounts we created for in teams or in uh, uh, admin center and we'll see if we are able to log in or not i'll pause the video for now till the time the installation is happening and then we'll resume the video once the installation is completed now as the installation is completed so what we'll do is we'll get started here and now it'll ask you to log in what i'll do is i'll enter the credential collaboration online and then it should ask for a password and let's see it says uh, stay signing in all your apps no we'll only sign in to this app only <clears throat> all right so we see that we are able to log in here and this is how uh, it looks like uh, we'll click on next 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 and let's go all right so now we have different different tabs over here and let's see if the phone calling uh, tab is coming through coming here or not so it looks like it is coming so let's see if i dial anyone for example let's see if i am able to search nikita yes i can search nikita from here but what i don't see here is the dial pad so basically that which means like i can only call few people uh, or, or call only the people who are in the organization i will not be able to make any um, number or any calls to the number outside of teams so which means uh, let's say if uh, there is if i want to call someone uh, in my organization who is in cisco ip phone i cannot dial the person's number because there is no dial pad over here let's see if i enter some number e will it work sorry we couldn't connect with your calling license you can call only people within your organization talk to your id team uh, to change your license so we'll have to look into this and assign a proper license we'll look into this uh, later but at this moment we just wanted to verify if we are able to log into the teams or not i hope this is informative for you thank you for watching